Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a website for free with Windsurf in 5 minutes. So this can be for business websites or for a personal website. And because I value your time, I'm going to try to show it to you in 5 minutes or less. And you're going to want to stick around because at the end I'll show you how to connect it to your domain so you can have a custom website like mine. And I'm going to continue this series for Cursor and Lovable. So if you prefer those platforms, then look out for those videos. Let's get right into it. Okay, so step one, you're going to go to windsurf.com, link in the description, and download Windsurf. Okay, so you're going to want to make a Windsurf account and log in, and then we're going to go to choose folder and make a folder for our website. And then you're going to want to select the folder. So the first thing we're going to do is something that not many people know about, is that we're not going to actually prompt it to write the website for us. We're going to prompt it to prompt itself. So this is how you do it. You're going to say, you are a top of the line prompt engineer. Write me a prompt that will be given to an AI coder to code a website for me. The website will have the following specifications, which you can check out at the link in the description. Okay, so I've written this out. I want a personal website for Brian Johnson and the, these. Okay, so I've written this out. I want a personal website for Brian Johnson and this is his slogan and these are his products. And then I just took a paragraph from his, from his website and see, we can just submit that and we don't even have to think about what pages we want on the website. ChatGPT is going to do all of that for us. So when it's done, we're going to want to copy all that, and then we're going to want to switch it into write. And then we're just going to paste it. And something optional here we can do is we can paste in an image of a website we want it to look like, but for now, we're not going to do that. We're just going to send it. And if it asks run command, you're just going to click accept and then let it continue. Okay, so it's been a few minutes and it's done coding. And now we have two options. Either we open preview here or we click preview the site here. And I think open preview is easier because it's directly in the Windsurf app. And so we get a bug. And all we have to do is we have to copy and paste that. We don't have to say anything. It's going to figure it out itself. Okay, so it's been about 30 seconds and the bug has been fixed. But let's say we don't really like this website. So it's actually not bad. They've already got this whole thing in there. And then there's the books. You just got to put in the covers. And then there are media. So these are YouTube videos and then products and then contact. So there's a contact form and then YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. Let's say we really hate the website colors. All we have to do is tell it what we want it to look like. And it's going to implement that for us. Okay, that looks way more like something Brian Johnson would make. And now we're ready to move on to connecting this to your domain. First things first, we're going to go to GitHub. So you're going to log in and then make a new repository. So call it whatever you want. And I recommend you click private. And then we're just going to click create repository. Okay, so once we've done that, we're going to go down to here where it says create a new repository on the command line. And then we're going to copy all this. Go to Windsurf and paste it into ChatGPT. And it's going to run the command for you. Okay, so the first time you run it, it's going to need your email and your username from GitHub. And that's why when we click open in terminal here, it doesn't work. Like it says fatal, unable to auto detect email address. But what we're going to do is I'm going to teach you what to do when you don't know what to do. You're going to go here, select it, press chat, and then you're just going to say, what happened? Help me fix it. And then, and so it's asked, would you like me to set your Git name and email for you? So I'm just going to type in my email and then my name. So it went and ran all the commands necessary for me. So now my website has been connected to my repository on GitHub. So all of the code is in that repository too now. And you can access that at this website, github.com slash your username slash the repository name. So next step is we're going to sign up to Vercel, which is what is going to allow us to host for free and also to connect our domain. So we're going to go to add new and then project. And then we're going to click test blueprint site. And then we're going to click import. So we're going to scroll down and click deploy. Okay, so about 30 seconds later, our website's already live. We'll click continue to dashboard, and this is our website. So this link works. You can test it if you want by going to incognito and pasting it in, and it works. So you can already share this link with anyone you want, and it's going to work. But I know a lot of you are going to want to connect this to your personal domain, so I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So back in Vercel, we're going to go to domains. We're going to click add, and we're going to type in our domain here, and then click add domain. So at first, it's going to say invalid configuration, but not to worry. All we're going to do is pay attention to the type, the name, and the value here. And then we're going to go to where we bought our domain, go into the DNS, and then we're going to add whatever it told us to add in Vercel. So it was CNAME, test, and then this. So just follow whatever it says in your Vercel, and then click Save Changes. So after a few minutes, you return to Vercel, and you'll see that it says valid configuration, assigned to main, and that's perfect. Now we can test it. So we're going to go to that website and here it is the about and there's your website. Hope that was helpful. If you found this useful, then it would mean the world to me if you dropped a like and subscribed and checked out my other videos.